hello everyone uh, so today we will be starting with this design and uh, yeah so i will be creating this right now uh, so uh, let's just get started and i have already created a project so there are basically three with desktop that i have set up first one is the image or dribble design that we will be drawing second is the emulator and third one is the code so this is how my setup is laid out and this id is intellij ide with a github theme you can say now let's get back to the uh, whatever structure that i have created for the project so first of all i have collected all the assets uh, you can say fonts oxygen i have used everywhere in this project okay and then there are multiple images if we see we have game images this these four okay we have these also as game images we have friend images and we have next we have player images so i have put them into game images in the games folder like these i have taken whatever size i could get from the internet i took them and uh, i mention i made sure that they are at least portrait mode and then in images folder i have this stadia dribble this this is just a background i mean this is just a, for my reference and this is the logo svg image that i could get from internet okay so since we have a svg image so it's better to mention that we have used a package called flutter svg to render the svg images into uh, flutter okay so this is my svg image now coming back to the folder of players you can see i have five players right now so first one is the main player who is john snow so this is the image of the player which will be shown as a profile and um, rest all four players are shown as friends okay now uh, i will come to the library folder i have i have created some folders common which will only mainly contain the common widgets which are being used throughout the project anywhere they can be used and in model i generally put <coughs> models uh, the data models like in this case we have last played games okay so the model name will be last played game third second i have friend model and uh, maybe i will have these also in future so then in the pages mainly i will create a landing page so let me create that one okay we will just do this new file landing page and okay so this is my landing page i will be calling this landing page here right so these type of pages will be there right now there will be one and when we create the second one it will be you can say the secondary screen okay so next coming to the style guide i already have taken the colors which were required so i i don't know why my plugin is not showing the colors here earlier it used to show but now it's not showing maybe i don't know why but yeah i don't know why so okay then the gradient i have already declared a gradient using the first color and the second color so what is the gradient here in this app see this this is first and this is second color this is first and second color similarly this is first and second color this is first and second color so everywhere it's consistent that's why i have taken a gradient first color and second color like these okay so in that in and this primary text color is probably I would say this one and uh, my secondary text color is this third tertiary text color is this and logo tint color which is the color which is i am applying to the stadia logo okay so then yes then coming to text styles so yeah you can see here username text style i have created with font size 32 weight medium and primary text color so this is nothing but this thing then like these i have created multiple text styles okay this body text style is for this three hours played 90 hours played like this and also it will be applied to this sensor and everything okay so let's just start with the landing page now okay sorry if my voice is too rough and i don't know why it is but yeah so i will start with this as a scaffold okay so the concept behind how, how we will go through in this so first is simple 
we will try to create this logo fit into the screen with some angle with some offset so and this will be inside a stack so first child in the stack will be the logo second item will be this complete page okay so my body will contain stack we are not having any app bar here multiple children first is my svg picture dot asset yes uh, so i have thought of one thing more that in the we can have a just i will have a image asset file which will contain only the image paths so that we can refer them anywhere in the project so we don't need to remember the you know we don't need to remember the path of each image every time we just need to call that image directly so the concept here is uh, let me let me copy all that and then i will show you what's the exact okay so this is how i will create my logo path basically this will have the player one path and so on so uh, we don't need to every time use this just we need to copy this logo and use the path here right like this okay so um yes the as you can see from the design let me just move it as you can see from the design this is near about 0.4 or 40 percent of the screen okay height wise so or uh, let me run it let's see how much it is visible so this is visible we have to give some height to it okay and uh, yeah so height according to me what i figured out was we will have first of all screen height from media query okay and we will also need width in one scenario okay and what will be my logo height so my logo height will be screen height into 0.4 okay let's put that here logo height and yeah so this is how it looks which is good but it's too dark so we will apply a color which is logo tint color now you can see that let me try to run it it's not running i i actually stopped it by mistake one more thing whenever you are referring to a package or a folder or file within your project just do it like this okay remove this package it will be very helpful when you convert this project into your uh, flutter web project okay so meanwhile it is running we want to rotate it right so what i will do i will wrap this inside translate transform dot rotate okay something i have missed okay so this is a child transform dot rotate transform maybe somewhere i have already made mistake let me see the output so this is transparent little bit color is applied to it and transform dot rotate yeah to have a child yes so cut this and paste it in so now it is all sorted and now rotation is simple i want to rotate it little bit like this means this should be this this angle should be here somewhere okay so let me rotate it and you can see it's little bit rotated now let me show you how it works now it's more rotated uh, similarly if you do 0.5 let's see yes so this is how it works we want minus 0.1 we also want that this wait this shifts to half of the screen like you have seen it starts from most of the in 60 percent of the screen is on the left hand side so we want something or some offset as well okay so we want to again wrap this inside transform dot translate okay and this time we will need offset so the offset will be uh, it takes a x and y so my x will be screen rate into 
60 percent yeah so it will start somewhere from here okay and little bit from top as well so let's see oh it went too much so what we'll do is we'll do this yep and i believe it should not be um yeah i think this is the right yeah sure that's okay so now we will start with our second part uh this is my stack I completed now what we need we need um yeah we need remaining body okay so what we will do is this is a column and to make it scrollable we will wrap this inside single child scrollable all the elements okay so single child is scrollable then the child and then column so this is normal thing that we can do so our first child will be this so above that we will have a size box as well okay size box size 60 and okay then we will have a row oh okay fine um so my first child will be item i can start a menu right which have which has color as my grocery i would say let's see if it matches search yeah uh one 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 thing i forgot to mention i have used um theme data canvas color is white primary search blue and found font family oxygen here yeah i forgot to mention oxfact.yml so i have already used 2.2.2 so that we can use for loop if loop while designing the layout i have used flutter svg then these are the images image paths which i have shown you and this is the font family okay so oxygen is the name of the family that's why we have mentioned oxygen here okay fine so we also want some space or complete space between them so let's see how it looks okay it looks good but it has to be a little bit darker okay i will um, let me just figure it out what can be the color so maybe primary text color is the one yeah it looks great so as you can see this is touching the screen edges but we won't we don't want that why we don't want that how that we can how we can solve that so i think 32 and 32 will be great and this edge will be 16 which will go through complete end of the screen so we will wrap this inside a padding and we will say that we want symmetric on both both left hand and right hand side yep we have come very close good it's looking good now we want to design this and we want to design this in a way that this can be used for these images as well okay so i'm, I'm going to design that right so what we will do is we will have some flags boolean flags whether to show this rank because ranking is shown only for the player logged in but not for the players logged out uh, but not for the friends and, and uh, this is a gray outline and this is a gradient outline okay so whoever is online is showing with the gradient and whoever is offline is shown with the gray so this is how i understood the design now let's create a common widget which is called update image um, widget yep. now if you remember my one uh, I'll go to my GitHub. If you remember one of the tutorials which says uh, fitness app. So fitness app, I have created this gradient radial progress bar. The same concept I'm going to use. So I'm not going to repeat it. If you want to learn, I have properly explained it in my that video. You can go to this part and you will learn how the radial progress is implemented. Okay, plus you will understand the animation. So yeah. So I won't explain the radial again. Okay, so let me close it. So let's start doing it. Yeah. 
so I'm really feeling too tired so I don't want to write the code again I have already written it so let me explain you just okay so see uh, to, to show the to, to create a widget you need to have variables which will actually be used to fill in the values into the properties of the widget okay so what are the properties of this widget it's first of all whether it is online or offline so let's have a variable whether it is online or offline then what is the rank right so you have a <coughs> show ranking method here and also take a ranking variable which will be having the ranking actual ranking of that it's 39 then image path right so just copy that and for my sake i have just taken the image size okay now it will show error because it is final so what we do we create the constructor by using the id itself okay so we have is online show ranking ranking and image path remember this is my previous code and this is the code which i am teaching you okay so i can refer it sometimes so i have made show ranking as false and is online as false why it is like this see by default i don't want to show the ranking I want because my most of the widgets do not show ranking simple similarly by default i don't assume that everyone will be online that's why my is online variable will be false right so let us start with the widget i want to only take this part because i will explain step by step okay i will tell you what is that don't 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 be afraid okay uh, let me just copy this also because it's a uh, custom painter that is used to create the color gradient and the shape okay let me import oh, sorry. it's very easy don't worry about that yeah and math so let me just copy that as well i'm too tired to write this stuff let me format it plus as i said yep, my voice is also too low sorry sorry with that please okay so i will explain you this later just just after explaining you custom paint so i've created a custom paint it is a painter okay uh, so based on the value of online it will be giving the color to the border okay so if it is online i am providing gradient if it is offline I am providing tertiary text color which is gray for me. Then this is a container which has 80 by 80. Okay, it contains an image. So image path is given here and it covers the image uh, plus it clips it. So if I don't use this, let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, so we need to use this here first of all. So after padding, I am going to coming back to the wrong day with image widget okay so by default what will be shown let's see i'm running it okay error asset name not equals to null so image resolution fine since image path is not given so this is the error that you can fix right here you want image path as required now our compiler will itself tell that this is required thing and you won't have errors when developing fine so my image path is player one Player one is nothing but John Snow's image path. Okay, let me run it. Yep, and now it is like this. Fine. Now we want to make it circle. So we we'll make it clip oval as done earlier. Sorry, I'm too tired. Okay, clip oval. Let's run it and it has become circle. Fine. Let me, yeah, now you can see this clipping let me yeah let it be can you see this clipping yeah so for that purpose i have wrapped this inside a container with a little bit more height okay anyways fine now we, we need to show the uh, ranking as well okay so i will copy this so if my uh, and before that before copying let me wrap this inside a stack because the 
39 ranking is on top of this circle right okay so this container no oh, sorry this custom client will do inside this attack okay and now we have first child then we have second child which is this what it will do simple so it will be positioning my again widget at the right bottom means from right to zero bottom to zero so it will be like here and here so it will be somewhere here okay then i have a container which is of height 30 30 because i want a circle which with height and width 30 that can show me text okay it is self-explanatory now one thing i can do is ranking now this ranking is double so what we'll do full string now this will again show you show me a error it should show me error it should show me error the reason behind this is ranking is again might not be there so it is also required value okay so i will have to pass it from ranking 39 and let's run it oh i cannot see it oh the reason for not showing is show ranking is false by default okay so we can see this now it is 39.0 so what we'll do is since ranking cannot be uh, you know cannot be in points we will make it int simple as that and it is now working okay now what we will do is uh, we have to let's see this is still cut so that's why i have added a container to it okay let me just add this container okay. height i have increased little bit padding i have given so it perfects the thing okay so increasing the height will drop this 39 little bit down and that's what required okay it is not aligned with the bottom of the image it is little bit more down that's why i have given little bit more height to it okay so we are in done with half of the part but we have forgotten that there is a different scenario we need to show a name down bot at the bottom if it is friends okay so otherwise we don't need to show the name so what we will do is we will have another variable which is called name okay let's just copy it and we need it here as well this token and we should not make it as no we can make it like this but should not be null in any case okay so what we will have to do now we have to make a column so this is my first complete part okay and the second part will be like this if name not equals to null then display this right so whatever name i am passing it will be displayed now let's test it so if i am passing name suppose Pratik, okay let's see so name is shown here but in that case i don't want to show ranking so my show ranking will be false this will look like this is online is also false here so let me make it is online as two so the gradient you can see here quickly let me show you the gradient actual gradient if you have watched my fitness app tutorial you will understand it better but let me remove this and show you this is how the gradient is okay fine yep. now let me explain you Ready and let me record everything. We want to show show ranking. We don't want to show name. So by default it will be null and the name will not be shown. Now we I want to show you a radio image border, a rounded image border which takes is online. Okay. So the content is very simple. I have taken the center of the circle, which is nothing but width by two and height by two which is nothing but 40 and 40 in this case because my width is image size which is 80 okay Fine. then i have taken a paint which has a stroke cap a style and a stroke width of 4 i use a shader if it is online which will give me a gradient 
so my app gradient it is declared like this okay which will create a shader again from the circle center i have given and radius also it is simple 40. if the user is offline color will be gray color then i draw this arc and that's it complete i start from minus 30 my sweep angle is 360 that's it point paint edges and false is uh, use the center you can see this um, yeah so use center false okay that's it radio image border done and we can close it so now this radio image let me take the code for landing page i already taken the backup so that i don't miss out any important information out of it okay so now we have reached to this part of course we need to show this complete okay so this is our row image we have we need to add text now okay so what i will do is I will wrap this inside a row okay now the beautiful part is i have started a new layer from here and that layer is nothing but a widget padding okay why i am starting it is i will i will show you after after we see the error or the issue okay so go to this so my row copy it and i copy everything Okay, let me just input these yeah. formatting. So I am let me run it. So this is how it looks. Now you can see, anyways, um lot many issues will be there. So padding horizontal 16 because for this I need 16 here, 16 from the end, right? It's a rich text. I have already explained it multiple times in my previous videos, but I will explain it here as well. So if you want to give multiple text styles to a text that has that is spreading across multiple lines and you want to give different different text style in different different you know um, lines then you can use rich text which will have a text span text span is have a children which again has a text span as the child it only accepts text span list of text span okay so this is hello which is applied to this then there is a next line which makes hello and below that john is name okay so this padding now we will need to have some padding here and some difference here as well so for that what i have done is i have completely wrapped this in a vertical padding so so i have wrapped this in a vertical padding 16 from top 16 from bottom okay or you can say 16 from top and 16 from bottom here okay so let me just use it yep wrap this into padding and let's see the difference so it is like this now okay now um we will like to have this okay. the second thing now we need to add this part this material okay so for that I will go to this material widget complete. I will show you how it works. Just wait for this padding. Let me run it. So this is how it looks. Now you can see so many errors. <laughs> you cannot see see the bottom. You know, um, means you cannot see the gradient. So. And, and you can see this it is also touching, touching the edges this is also touching the edges so but in the design it has some padding and this is consistent whole through the page so what we will do is we will wrap complete thing both the things in a padding widget okay so for this what it did is it took a column okay and wrapped this inside a padding so what we will be happening is material as well as padding will go into a column okay so can we do it from flutter or outline let us see this padding and this material 
can we make it in a column? Yeah, we made it. So now these two are in a column itself. Okay. So now you can see that Flutter outline is also very good to to make the UI so arrange them, arrange the widgets. Okay. Now add up adding to it. Right. Let's wrap. So horizontal 16. Now what it will do is it will make these things, these two things have some space on the left hand side, right hand side. Let me run it. Yes, and we have the similar thing, right? Now what we'll do, we need to have something below this, right? So once this is done, we need to have some padding for everything. Right 16, bottom 16, top 16. Just copy this and I will show you why it is needed for this material widget. this you can see it it's not 16 it's more than 32 right so 16 i have already taken 16 more i will take plus at the bottom i will take and at the uh, left i already have right i will take bottom i will take and top i will take so that it doesn't stick to this right okay so let's run it now it's beautiful fine this i will explain you now so inside material i have elevation of 4 we have a border radius 12 Okay, let me format it. So uh, the content inside material has some padding. As you can see, this is the padding, this is the padding. Here it is more, here also it should be there. Okay, so bottom is 32, top 16, right 16, left 16. Then we have column. This is the column. And uh, yeah, so this is the column. Row. I actually wanted it to be. Um, taken it as a row yeah the reason for taking it uh, as a row is that it is weird you might be wondering let me jump to that yeah so how you will create this look it's very simple a column having one and two items right plus a size box so similarly if you do it like this and run it it will be like this i need to take it full width available that's why i wrapped it inside a row and then also it will not work oh it works so the row takes complete width if um it has available width okay then we're done with this padding we are done with this you can see too many padding widgets but adding padding widgets is better than adding sized box okay i have added this because it's very small and it's clear to see that that's all. Then this is done. We need to show last played games, this thing and this thing. Okay. I will quickly do it. No, no, don't I will explain everything. So this is my padding. Let's copy it. Add it here. And let me see how I can explain it. So this is last played games. <laughs> so let's figure out the common object. Friends, last played games popular with friends and continue playing are same type of widgets so what you can do is copy this go to this create a new file which is called padding widget or content padding widget okay import material and this is called content padding And sometimes I only want to explain the things. That's why I, I don't know whether you will like this way of teaching or I don't know. Let me know in the comments. So I have created this, but this should be dynamic. Okay. So nothing to worry about it. Just create a this thing. This is a normal job. Adding constructor on this step. Okay. Now what we will do, we will replace this, but before replacing, we just copy it and content heading widget heading. and we don't get any errors, make this as required. Yep, so if you forget to use heading, you will get an error. And let's run it and it is this is how it is. <laughs> now this is a very weird issue, a very normal issue. This is a column, everything is centered by default. So you have this column, add your cross axis and start, issue is solved. 
why why it is not taking class split games the reason is very easy content heading should go inside this padding widget which has horizontal okay it should go here fine and again so we have to add and i guess we can remove yes we can remove this one because my internal content will handle that okay so this is how it looks now we need to add some elements okay so okay, fine yes and now now it's the toughest part you can say but not the toughest toughest anymore i know it's very easy to create okay so we will have this landing page but i also want to take game progress widget and last plate widget yes these two are the things that need to be here anyway what we'll do is how we'll approach let's learn the approach so see um approach is simple we need to have one item which will be multiple which will be displayed four times then uh, how you will display this so this is a row first column second column third column but if you do it in this way whenever this item ends this progress will start from here if item ends here it will start from here if item ends here it will start from here but you want it is starting from a specific position right so you will make a column first then you will have one column which contains these two items and second column which contains only progress item okay so we'll start in that one um again last yeah. so padding row yeah. oh sorry it's okay i explained it wrong i explained it wrong you will have uh, you will not means you to have two columns you have to have a row so this this row item will divide itself into one item and second item then this item itself will divide into a row one item and the second item so that you have a similar position starting for each progress and to add to that the item which will be this containing this complete will be expanded sorry on this complete this complete will be expanded flex 2 and this will be flex 1 so it is taking two third of the screen and this part will take one third of the screen okay so to start with i have i have to create uh, last play okay simple parts let me do it okay Last played game. Okay. Fine. Okay. So as I explained, I'm going to create only this one, right? So first is a row. to children then you will have two more children so first will be image second will be text no, yes text so first will be image then column which will have first text and the second text and here you can use rich text so we'll directly do that way then rich text let's use the knowledge what we have this is the row uh, yes this is the thing i was going to tell you so my image and rich text will go inside a row again right and this will contain two children which will have an image and rich text right and this will have this row will have second child which will be my game progress widget which i will show you how i have created game progress widget okay this row will take two third of the screen right and this person 
pretty big. We can expand it directly, have a flex value of 1. So we did, we did not provide it. And even we need not provide expand it as well. But yeah. So this is the this is the overall structure of this widget. What I will do is okay. Let me close this first. Close this. this one. Yeah. I have a different name for it. Last play beginning time. Okay. Okay, fine. So as you can see, we need some padding, a vertical padding that we will add later on. And uh, yeah. okay, so let me start with this. Yeah. So instead of image, we have. Yeah. <laughs> so again, creating a common widget needs to have something with you. What this contains. It contains uh, image part basically it contains a uh, last played game model so that model I'm not going to create I'll just copy it model, these two models will copy and paste inside models yep. yeah friend Jimmy okay so what is this I will tell you it's very easy uh, go to image assets Create friend. Let me just see the players. Friend Jenna. Uh, so go into models just import it and the errors are gone go into common yeah so my last played game is a model which contains a name name arts played progress uh, yes name arts played image path and the game progress okay okay and uh, even these paths can be moved to image assets let me move them as well game what was the name of the game with assassins assassin that's nice then the second name is there are too many so it's red cells Sorry guys, it's taking time, but it's better for the project. Stardew Valley. And the last one. No Man's Sky. And then what we'll do is just Game assassin game reference. So it's easy now because we both need to remember these image paths. All the image paths are now in some variables, you can say. Yep. Okay, so last played games. We have these things. This will be our input to my last played game tile. Okay. Sometimes we must be entire last play game and we can have a constructor auto created for us and why this is not taking image path. Oh sorry. This is the wrong. Okay. So clip rect is doing what? It's creating this rectangle containing our image. Okay. 
So we just set box script. We need to wrap this inside a stack so that we can show a play icon on top of it. Okay, so the play icon is this one. It's not difficult. Left eight, right eight. As you know, width is forty five. So starting from eight and eight sixteen. So the icons image will be having a twenty nine width. Okay, so this is done. Let me. Comment it, comment the wrong place, wrong parts, and run it. So you can see, you cannot see the reason being we don't have it implemented in the landing page. So the best part comes now of dot for equals zero i less than last played games, which is just a list of last place played games. Then i plus plus. Okay, dot length. You don't need to have this while you're doing the content. So last click game. Actually, we need tile which is last click game tile. What this will have? It will have last click game. Input it. Check this. this. And last click games I. That's it. It should do. Yep, you can see four items. Some errors in the image names, definitely. So we will go to our image asset. We'll see if we have done something wrong. Okay. SEDGV. Mm. No, sorry. It's in the error is. Okay, I got it. No one's sky is having JPEG. As well as this is also having JPG. Okay, and that's obviously how to load, how to restart anything. So we have loaded this, no issue in that now. But definitely, we will need some space before below this. So for adding that space, we will have to have some padding. Okay, so this is the padding vertical. Let's wrap this complete widget inside the padding. And let's see the magic okay fine okay so we have done this now we need to work on our text as well we forgot the text which text see i have implemented it like this but now i will show you the rich text version of it okay so rich text is a widget which has a child i guess which has text which has text span in it which has multiple children and multiple children are working with text span. So we have two text spans now, one below another. So we need to add one more, which is no, which is new line. So that they are in different lines. Oh, oh sorry. So, make right. so I think we can add with one single quote as well. Yep. What is the text? Uh, just copy this all the text. And this was the style. So text is I think a widget, I guess. Text will take a string. No problem. We cut this. And we might have a style. Yeah, we have. And we just need to import it. Similarly, we just have to copy this. This style cannot come here. And we need a text here. It can come in. So, this is my rich text. So let's see the result. Yeah, it's attached. So, this is what I was saying you. You are having a single widget which is in two multiple lines which have different text styles. Okay. So, what is what needs to be done? Definitely, we need to add some padding to rich text. So, this is the padding horizontal. Horizontal. Okay. Wrap this in the padding. Change the padding rate. Horizontal symmetrical. That's done. Now, this is done. This is done. Now we need to have something like this game progress widget. Let's okay. Let's create another game progress widget, which is very easy now. Game progress widget. Okay. What should be the value? Uh, 
progress. Plus, we will need screen width. Yeah, we need it. So I will tell you why. But it's needed, I guess. So we will close this one. Yeah, we need a screen widget, screen width, and again progress. And also screen widget in this also because it will be passed from the previous screen. That's why. So I'm closing this. We have again progress widget. We have this skin widget. Let me add a screen width to it. Okay. And let me pass screen width as well as progress. Yeah, so we need to create progress from this as well. I will share tell you what is the progress nowadays. Okay, we have these two important progress widget. So, and this one again. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Right. Okay. All the things nice. Okay. This widget is okay. <sighs> fine. So, we need to pass in two more things here. Screen width, which is which we have here, and game progress, which we don't have, but we have inside last week games dot game progress. So you can see here we have game progress 0.20, which is 20%, 0 0.80, which is 80%, 95 and 10 percent. As you can see here, see, these are rough values, anyways. Okay, so we are gonna create this thing. How will we create? So basically, how I have created is there are two containers, one with a rounded border and one with a gradient color. Okay, uh, one with a width of remaining width of one third of the screen width plus minus the padding, and this is multiplied game progress multiplied by the width of the container. This container. Okay, so this is the concept. Uh, it will be more clear when we actually do it. So. What I'm saying is, mm, we need to have. Okay, uh, let me just do it. Screen width into 0.3. What is the need for that? It is one third of the screen because this part takes two third, so remaining part is one third. Plus, we have to minus the padding. So I have minus the padding, 16 and 16 from both the sides. So if I can create a container with a width of width and uh, yeah, let me just check with what thing I uh, have to constraints. No, fine. And a uh, height of 10, then my decoration can be, uh, color will be white, so my border radius, uh, let me just copy where I am typing border radius and border. So, border radius is 4 and tertiary text color, which is gray. Okay, and width is 1. So, it will be like this color. Okay, and radius 4 I have given. Okay, fine. So, let's add some type. Yes, let's run it and let's see. Okay, error, no problem. Where it is? Last paint game tell widget, no name parameter. Fine. Yeah, it will be. So last played game widget. Where it is? I just renamed it, so that's fine. So it is looking like this. Happy. It's nothing but just a container. Now we need to have another container on top of it so let's wrap it inside a stack so that this container goes at behind and its <coughs> copy comes on top okay so what we need to do is we don't need to give border border now we need to give gradient which is app gradient let's see the output and this is how it looks 
fine. Okay, uh, one thing, it should be 3, 3. Yes, because 2 third is 33 percent. 1 third is 33 percent. So that's right. And if I do this, it should give me some errors, but it's not giving. Anyways, will it work? Oh, it works. But again, yeah, it works. It looks nice. Fine. So we'll not minus the weight. I don't know why. Mathematics. Fine. But this is not the case. It should be multiplied by something. It is not 100 for everything, right? So width is multiplied by, you know, what thing? Game focus. And see the magic. You have everything, right? So this is how it is. You can animate it as well by running an animated container, animation controller here. And uh, through the, um, should I show you that? My God. Let me show you that because, yeah. I have not done, but I know what needs to be done. So it should be pretty quick. Instead, expose. So expose, and um, we will have our animation control. In the init state, we will initialize it. We see this and version should be pretty good. Oh my god. 500, that's it. And let me dispose. So this is the norm that I had. What I will do is set this init state controller dot firm forward. That's it. And whenever these values get changed, you know, um yeah. I have to create an animation as well. Animation of double type which should be progress animation progress animation dot okay queen yeah queen of double from zero and will be uh, let's take it end will be this end will be no 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 into this should be the end to animate with my control yeah this value oh, it is picking <laughs> this whenever this will run I think I'm doing something wrong. I don't know it will work or not. It might be a bit laggy. You know, I should put it in animation builder or something, animated builder. Anyways, uh, I have to use this animation menu. Let's run it. Oh, I know. Um, so we will need to have a uh, animation builder. No problem. Any builder. Right? Which will need uh, animation and the builder. Animation is progress animation and the builder is context. I guess it takes widget. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Uh, return control X and return. Yep, everything works fine. Now let's, I guess. I can yeah. yeah it animates it animates yeah quickly oh let us do it superb man so that's done I have added animation um in in about five ten minutes anyways the video is too long let me stop and click so again progress is done it is used here right let's format the file everything is opened now what is left you know copy paste is left <laughs> what we are doing 
now we are adding friends here we need we need friends okay i will not copy that model copy so friends it has name image path whether the friend is online or not you can see here right this we have already done so it should be very quick within two minutes it should be over friends second it oh my god yeah so it is bounded image widget and what are the inputs for it you can remember what are the false values in this path so friends i dot image path and mandatory ranking no we don't want to show show ranking should is false by default is online definitely we need to tell the widget whether is online or not and yes name is required not required but we have to provide okay ranking is required no way ranking should not be required okay let's see it will not give me error because a show ranking is uh, ish a show ranking is false by default so we will have to make sure that if show ranking is true ranking is there so the name is friends dot name yep. oh <laughs> no 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 so before this for uh, we need to wrap this inside a single child is called view which will have a row and contain these things so now it will be in our row again yeah okay, okay okay so we need to make sure some things okay do that give us some methods um yeah we need to add some padding no, 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 I have. Uh, let me see what padding I added. Which is okay. So this is the padding. As well as the section will apply two, only two, and that two is all. Okay. So we add two, two, one. I think to row it is applied, not to the single child. Yeah. So we will remove it. so it's fine now yeah ah, again image issues man okay no problem that is that can be fixed um, go to image assets trish okay trish 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 amongst fine yeah whenever you change the constants you know? okay so it's scrollable no one one slight issue i will show you see this you can see the cut i have i have been suggested that you i can take this out now okay so how you can take this out just see the difference okay you will need to take the single child out of this padding widget which gives you horizontal padding 1616 16. and that's it man it should be fine now yeah it won't scroll so let me add some more friends so that you can see it. No, it cannot. So let me not reload and see this. Now it looks beautiful because we are not bound by the edges. Okay, and it looks awesome. Yep. So this page is done. Now we will have to navigate to the second page. I have not designed anything about that. Uh, let me see if I can make it into another video or merge it into the same video because I, I know no one watches the second part as much as the, they watch first part and i don't want anyone to miss any of the parts okay so i'm starting with the second page now i have thought of a very risk risky part i will live code it <laughs> i have not done it but i will like it i will try to live code it okay so i'm i don't know how this is how the designer has thought out this screen should come but i believe it should be from the navigation bar but i don't want to get into the messy things i will click on this and we will land into the secondary page so the name of 
as I said, the name will be again secondary page. Secondary, uh, secondary home page, I will just say. Because it looks like again a home page. Stateless secondary home page. Oh, sorry. Okay. So first things first, scaffold body. What do we have? Uh, again, sixty. Yep. So let's let's take a column. Yep. And let's take our children. Then um, size box. Oops. Is there a content which can be scrolled here? No. It's I. It's it should be done. I guess if we divide this part as okay, it takes around forty percent. This takes around uh, thirty and thirty sixty. So four three three flex can be given to it. Mm, yeah. So uh, size box sixty or make, do it like this expanded let's divide this screen in three parts flex for some child container color as a green i'm just creating a structure a skeleton flex three child will be in a container with colors orange Okay. Okay, let's jump into that. Where is my okay? Fine. So I will do this. I will make this menu icon as clickable. Fine, let me get it out. So when I click on this, yep, 40, 30, 30, beautiful man. Okay, now um, we'll deal with them separately. So this is a, itself a column in its own rights, but the background of this is tech, children. So idea is this will have a background image, then the content will lie on the top of it. Okay, so this image I'm talking about. So first will be image dot asset. Yeah, let's get to image asset. Do we have an image that is long enough? Libraries. Yeah, we have. We have. So it will go inside const game. And the image name should be Sakiro. Sakiro assets games Sakiro. So this is the image actually. This this is the image. Oh, it's two seventy by one. It it will be very blurry. Okay. So zero dot jpg. Let's try to run that. Give me zero. And let's see. Oh, oh my God. With okay no, this is this is the issue. So should I should I go for a bigger image? Let's do it in this video itself. Let's try to get an image which is large enough. Okay. Yeah, this this will work. Image. Please 
Okay, put it this that assets yes. okay. it's PNG. Fine, so good command with that Oh, it is taking time. Badly fitted. Oh, come on. Anyways, I don't have much time. So, um, Sekiro with um, oh, that was the error. That's why. That's why. Fine. So, once we have this stack on top of this, we'll have a column. Then, children size box. We'll have sixty then we we'll have a row container. It might be only what you're typing now. Okay, so we'll click on this. Oh it looks good. We need to little bit make its height. Oh. Height has to be something man. Again, the errors will come now. Six fifty. Fit. 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 Yeah, that's good. Fine. So it can be, I guess, six hundred FM. Yeah, nice. Can be five fifty. Oh. I don't know what is happening. Yeah. So it's supposed to be 450. It's also nice. 350. Yeah. So 400 will do the job for us. That's all. Um, can just try and go. Ah, it cannot. So, oh, one second. If you try fully with that height, will it work? No. Fine, so we have to have some height. Anyways, that looks good. How is in the design? Yeah, that's it. Okay, we will we want this now container. So size for five to sixty. We need this container. It's very easy. Okay. Container decoration. Decoration. Water. Water. Right, right, two, bottom radius, it seems like four or six or eight, four, and we have a child also, child is the row which has two children, we can copy this from landing page, mm, these two items. Yep. Yeah. And what we'll do, you know, we'll pop. We'll use the same thing. And yeah. So this is but primary text, but we need colors dot white here for the icons. Fine. You have understood. I have used the menu icon in the secondary page to pop back. I'm running it again. Okay. Go back. Yeah. This is good. This row main axis, main axis and then space between. Need to have some padding as well. So my padding can be okay. Well, I can add padding for one and it will be applied for other as well. So we click 16 for one. Hmm. No, we need more people for this. Okay. Four will do. This looks good. And we need to have this container have some margin. Symmetric, horizontal, and this will be 16. Yeah, that looks cool. Um, padding 12. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, sorry. I need to have some horizontal as well. Um, because, yeah, now it looks good. See this? Okay, vertical is little bit more. 
and it should not be two, it's only one. Now it looks beautiful. And horizontal Yeah, this oh, oh oh I didn't apply for this. Okay, so let's add padding for this as well. Not the vertical one, only horizontal we need. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah, and we need this thing, so where do we add this? Mm, fine. So, okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, definitely don't want to. Okay, so inside this column, which is supposed to be in the first expanded box. We have this, we have a container, then we should have a text or a align box which can have alignment to bottom center so that everything inside this comes like. Then we can have a column again to have these things, these three things. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Um, so we can add these two again in the you know what I'm saying? It should be in the rich text. I love this rich rich text. Text is fine. Quick. Upside. Oh, text is fine. And fine. Text will be in the game. You can do it to uppercase here as well. Right? Anyways, its style is nowhere given already, so we need to create. Okay, fine, we will create it now. Text styles. Let's copy it. I will give it like game text style 14 color will be white. Similarly, new game. Name text style which can be 20. Yep, and style will go in the game. And as you know, before this, we need to add a text style of backslash n, a new line character. There is little bit of space, but that can be handled. No problem with that. So, Sekiro colon. Shadows right twice. Shadows twice. T is not capital. Oh my god, yeah. That's tagline. Hmm. Okay, fine. So let's find it. Fine. Okay. Uh, this is my rich text. I need to have a button so that button can be a custom button or a material button. Let's make a material button with some elevation. So, gradient can be applied or not. Oh man. So, since gradient cannot be applied, I will need to make it as a container. God, that's bad. That's a good container. I don't know whether we can apply it or not, but as far as I am, I know, I don't know whether we can apply it. I'll search it, but for now, let's do it like this. Gradient, add gradient. Gradient. Um, border radius, border radius. We'll copy. We don't need border, I guess. We don't need border. Mm, that is okay. And the channel will be text. This whole thing should be clickable. And have play. That's what it says, play. 
Yep. Let's see. Should I run it? No, we need a size box. So size box is 20. All right. Let's run it. So I'm coming here. Add these things. Yeah, this is good. So it seems like apply this thing okay plus um column should have cross axis alignment center so everything is up okay. and alignment as center oh my god what's that um yeah 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 one thing, one thing. i think it is in center but my text is not in center so maybe text align should be in center yeah now oh, that's like good one so my play again it's a container i should have some padding if it would have been a button it would have been very nice 32 okay button looks very big now fun yes i have to play with this style what's that it can be a new game style so it looks good can be bold so um, wait for me dot seven hundred which is bold um, if this also applies to this yeah it looks nice now plus Oh, fine, fine, fine. Everything is fine. No problem. Mm. I need to make it down. Bottom center. Why it's not taking space? Do your work. Yeah. Now I can do this. I should move this. And after this column, I can have a sized box. Or I would say add a padding which has only bottom 32. That looks oh wow, that looks the same as it looks here almost, almost. And size box can be 40, then it looks pretty much same. Only the thing is, mm, this again is the image is blurry here. So again, we can play with the image. Mm, where is the image? Container, no, it's back. Special. I think of where is the image? Yeah. So some tint can be added. And color, yeah, tint color. Let's use that if possible. But it will be too, yeah. So what we can do is logo tint color. We'll use opacity color. Let's try that. Colors dot dot opacity dot eight. So I can't apply that otherwise it will take time. Let's apply black. Oh, it's my bad. Seriously, it's my bad. You cannot apply a color to this. You need to have a container. And that container. Because if I'm applying some color, it will change the color of the image. Image. So close to that. That's the thing. Okay, fine. Now we need to work on the second part. I am done with the first part. So second part is this thing, which let me close this. Close that. Beautiful. Okay, it looks good now. Yeah. Second part is this. Okay, we need another play button. Fine. So this is the heading, 
and then we have a row of elements okay so uh, let's do this what should be the name popular flat front game widget what it is like the stack wherein um, instead of asset yeah we need to create three more assets one two three first one is Fortnite second is Apex third is PUBG and what are the image names? Okay, uh, it is PUBG.png Apex Legends.png and Fortnite.jpg Fine and uh, we need to have one more model okay let's do it quickly um, I guess uh, then no need to create this at all. We may see him directly, we can pass him. Because this is the only thing that we need. So this is supposed to be a stack on top of that. I will need a button again. Uh, this time I don't need to provide a gradient, so better be I take a little material button. Then the elevation as eight, which looks like it. Colors to the right. Sorry. So I will be using the text which says play and style. I think it should be it's um, nowhere used so maybe I create a new one text to styles just copy it play edit text to style 16 or 15 14 and uh, it's first color mostly where is the first one? Oh, I don't need it. Sorry. What we did with that? And then let's play. Right. Oh, what does it mean? On test. Okay, we will be done now. <coughs> let's run it. Like nothing will be shown. Because I have not added anything here, so this will be my column first of all. Second one will be expanded. Content. First one will be content heading widget. Where we need to give the heading. So the heading is popular with things. So this is the benefit of creating you know, custom widgets because we needed only one line to do that. Then we need our expanded widget, yep. which will have a child, which will have a single disk only. And child of this will be, and the direction of this will be, sorry, 
types of time. Let me plug in the charger. Okay, then then the child will grow, which will be children. Oh, I need to create one more. Okay, I need to create a list of friends. So they will be nothing but the image bytes. So it will be game. Oh, what will be that? Um, game dot um, Fortnite. Then upload friend account and for the widget will be upload friend widget and it will use the image path which is upload friend okay. that looks good um so let's see this is this let's try to run it I have never seen working it in a single way, single row. Oh my god, it's almost done. So popular with strength, definitely it's a column, so cross. This is just, but again, we need to add a padding. I will add padding to only this thing. I don't want any other things to, you know, the same thing we did with the friends widget. So, I don't want it to be cut by the screen. So this looks good. I have the button as well, but no background. Plus, there is no space in between. So, to add the space, we will wrap this inside a padding widget and symmetry horizontal 16. Uh, do we need some vertical as well? Yeah, we will need vertical 4. That looks good. Uh, vertical can be 8. And we have forgotten one thing, these are curved. <laughs> so, uh, again, clip oval. Simple. Clip oval. Okay. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Clip R right. I need to large the border radius. Yes. Border radius. This play button has to come down. So for that, I'm going to use position widget. Bottom zero, left zero, right zero, and um, I don't know why I'm, this doesn't have a background. Symmetrical button. Let me have um. Flat button or raised button? Raised button. That is. Oh. Is your black color or what? what? Oh, it's visible. Yeah, now it is remembered. Well, it takes complete. So we have to reduce this. Uh, left zero, right zero. This has to be gone. Okay. Um, plus, uh, if this is positioned, it has to be in the center. So try with align. I got align. Left can attend, right can attend, and yeah, it has come down, uh, but it's very small. But um, I again made a mistake. Yes, uh, now the problem is 
tends to come into the plan as well. So what we'll do come up here, out of yeah, what I'm doing is then let me go up uh let's give it and let's draw D. It has gone down completely. No problem. So the padding that we gave for the vertical, we don't need that. Instead of that, we can add some padding to this so that the image goes a little bit up from the bottom. And our button can look, yeah, that's a beautiful. That's nice. Fine. Now, we need to do a twenty so that it looks beautiful and the button I'm not happy with the button because again you know creating button is not a good thing button should be already there secondary home page let me steal the button this complete part let me steal and I will change the colors then okay uh, it's fun to create on live pudding. I'm feeling pretty happy about this. Yeah, no problems. Um, yeah, to have play right. Yeah, that's it. That's good. Uh, horizontal, horizontal, sixteen. It is also not. Eight. And vertical, we don't need. We will need four. Um, oh, why not we? What we need elevation okay. Yeah, elevation is there. Um, but the bottom is too much on. So, and now we can add the vertical button. That's good. Okay. Can I 16 or something? Yes, I don't. No, 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 no. That's not helping us. It should be 8 and bottom should be 10 so that it goes. Yeah, that's beautiful. Now, alignment. That's it. Bottom radius can be 10. I know. So this border radius should go into here. Now you will have the button. Yes. Done that. Beautiful. Nice. Awesome looking man. Now we can do one thing. We can remove this vertical. Because thing is uh, it's looking weird because it has cyan color. If it had been white, it would look like this. Oh. So the elevation is too much. So tired. Beautiful. Now the third and the most easiest part of this. Uh, continue playing. So I will go to secondary home page. I will copy this column. Oh, wait. I will not. Okay. And um, let's see how it looks. Yeah, it looks great. Everything is fine. But we don't need these many things. Uh, we don't need padding. We need padding with content and continue cleaning. And this is a container which has. Um, oh, it is similar to this. Oh, let's copy. Oh, fine. Oh, no, 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 no. That is spinning like anything. Okay. Um, sorry, heading is done. Let's find it. Single child. No, not required at all. Column. This is required, but single child is not required. Okay. Let's make a container. With our uh, Beautiful gradient. Um, gradient. We already have that. And uh, child, we can have another row. 
let's copy um it is in last plate in tile uh, yeah this is the one padding flip that okay row oh, i believe this is it this we don't want to see right check so the copying the inside row fine uh, last plate instead of last plate last plate zero simple because we want the latest last plate right last plate okay. zero similarly with this zero more errors okay. so let's try it look it looks like this fine um what we need to do is we need to add this also inside padding so why not we add the padding outside I did with the wrong part. I did with <laughs> the wrong side. For the second reason I did. So that's not required. I have to do for uh, this. I think this has some vertical also. Vertical is 16. That's okay. Oh, and this container. Oh, I added only a gradient, so I will need to add. Okay, what's the vertical radius? It is 10 or 8. Copy again. Mm. There it is. It looks good. Only the thing is, image has to be bigger. So, height is only 100, maybe width only 65. Let's see, is it fine? Oh, I got it. So, it should be height, should be screen height um, on my sub part. So, oh, let's take a screen height here itself. So my continuous height should also be the same at hundred. Zero point two. Put in five and then this can be Let's see how much it looks. Oh, it looks bad. So this can be two and this can be one three. And that looks good. Um, but it's still not matching with the things. So, 80, 
that looks so good the play icon is smaller so uh, there should be multiple left or 8 it should be with width it should be 20 okay. um, so it should be in the center as well so if I want it to be 20 it, it is a width so I can take Managed to do that and um, padding is simply horizontal column. Yeah. So this should have a constant horizontal. Perfect. And only apply the white styles to it, and I will be done. Not copy it. Color and white. Some sides as well. Small size. Twenty. Some size. Not too much. <laughs> Still. Well, that looks good. Uh, but I need to have some space between these. So. Anyways, that can be done by using size. Oh, one thing can be applied. That is called uh, height. Height can be twenty. No, 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 it's too much. Okay, fine. Two. Oh, beautiful. So one point five. Yes, let's look. Okay, guys. Um, so this is done. As you can see, this looks beautiful. And uh, so this is the end of the tutorial. If you have liked the content, please like the video. If you would want to receive the um, decent or any more videos regarding designs, please let me know in the comment section. Also subscribe to my channel if you are if you want to not to miss not to miss the videos which I because I am publishing uh, then remember to hit the bell icon as well and uh, this is my website plus um, this is my sorry um, This is my <coughs> YouTube channel. <coughs> Go to it and subscribe to my channel. Just please hit the bell icon as well. This is my website. Yeah. So that's it for the video, guys. And enjoy our flutter. And thank you for watching. So yeah, thank you. Bye.